What is good guys? Uh, before we get started in the video, this applies to the video, don't worry. Um, I'm almost done the updated version of the web developer roadmap. I'm adding some more content and I'm just making it look a little bit nicer. So the entire thing will include videos, courses, and um, stuff that I did to learn everything in programming. So big steps here. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm really excited to release. I wish I had that when I was learning to code. And yeah, on to the video. Okay, so in this video, I wanted to talk about how to learn hard programming concepts. But seeing that a lot of people are going through this, um, I would like to make a video on how personally I have dealt with learning hard programming concepts and, and how I have gotten over those humps where you felt like you could not learn something and then you eventually did. In programming, you're bound to run into something that is hard. For some people that may be stuff right away like variables and for loops and for some others it could be back end connecting front end to back end or like whatever you want okay and when you run into these problems at first you're going to freak out and you're going to question whether or not coding is for you and whether or not you're ever going to learn it personally i have dealt with this with both apis as well as connecting front end to back ends even most recently while making the web developer roadmap uh, I tried to implement a database to store emails and I was really struggling with that. And I'll be honest, though it is a simple thing in theory, like you're just storing a database of emails, like how hard can that be? I honestly did struggle with it quite a bit. I was using a new database called Firebase. It, I'd never used it before and it was a really new experience for me and a pretty humbling experience because I just made an application and I thought that I was the best in the world and come to struggle with something so simple, it really hurt my ego and uh, made me think that programming isn't for me. But I eventually got over that and I was able to learn Firebase and was able to store emails with a simple uh, database query. Now let's look at how most programmers look at hard concepts. Oftentimes when we run into these problems, we freak out and question our abilities when it comes to coding. We have this limiting belief that because we are struggling with something, we suck at it and that we can't move forward. But if you really take a step back and think about it from like an objective viewpoint, why do we believe that because we're struggling with something, because we can't solve something, that we are not gonna be good at it or that we're a failure. Programming is one of the hardest things to do in general. Like we may think that it's easy because we're in it, but trust me, programming is one of the hardest things to learn and teach. And, and by attacking and ridiculing yourself, and worst of all, thinking that you are never gonna be a programmer because of something that is difficult, is just a wrong mindset to have. But before I get into the tactics of how I overcome these hard concepts, you have to understand the mindset that is surrounding it. When you run into these hard problems, rather than judging and attacking yourself because you are running into these problems, be open to learning new concepts and be excited because you are learning and, and improving. You'll have new skills as well as more information in this mind when it comes to programming. Now that we have our new mindset coming into programming and approaching problems, solving hard concepts will be much easier. So let's say you are learning a pretty hard programming concept. What you will do now is simply accept that it is hard and simply just expose yourself to the subject more and more. A lot of the times we don't expose ourselves to the concept. We think, okay, I'm just gonna learn this in a, in a week and I'm just never gonna touch it again because it's hard. That's the totally wrong mindset when it comes to programming. And now that we have this new form mindset of, okay, this is gonna be tough. I believe I can do it and eventually I will solve it. Now when you approach these hard programming concepts, you're gonna give yourself the time and space and most importantly, the exposure to the subject so that you get better at it. I used to hate APIs and asynchronous functions. Don't ask me why, I just, I could not touch them, I hated them. And I avoided them for the longest time but I wanted to be a full stack developer and my business required me to learn those things. So a couple months in, when I accepted my fate and changes, changed my mindset around learning hard programming concepts, I simply told myself that I, I had to expose myself to asynchronous functions and APIs so that I could get better at it. And guess what? After a month or two of really applying, doing tutorials and learning on the fly, I finally understood APIs. And guess what? Now it's my favorite subject and it's the best thing that, that I'm at. Change your mindset around approaching problems 
and then exposing yourself to the subject enough so you get better at it. No one does this. A lot of the times we try to avoid our issues when in reality we have to face them head on and expose ourselves to these issues so that we can overcome them and get better at facing them. So I have an applicable step for you, okay? This is probably not a lot of things that YouTubers do, but I want you to actually succeed. Next time you face issues or a hard programming concept, rather than crying, complaining, and getting upset at yourself, attacking, ridiculing yourself because you don't understand this, give yourself the time and space to learn it and apply more time and exposure to that programming concept. I promise you with time, you're eventually gonna get it. Like I did with APIs and asynchronous functions as well as the Firebase application, apply this into your life. This is an underrated skill that almost no one does and what will set you apart in the programming space. And I'll see you in the next video.